So now in a second problem, I need to find out the condition over V naught such that my transistor will remain in a saturation region. So if I will up, earlier we have applied the KVL here in the loop in which we have find out that my IDRL is equal to the V naught my IDRL is equal to the V naught or minus V naught plus Vs plus minus Vs minus and that I have put the value of V naught as a 0 in the earlier case now this time it is now 0 so, so my IDRL will be Vs plus minus Vs minus is 3 3 minus V naught it will be 3 minus V naught or I can write down as V naught is equal to the 3 minus IDRL so my V naught is related to the drain current as 3 minus IDRL so where drain current is a uh, current in the saturation region. So now in, in this case my uh, my drain current will be K by 2 now my V in is also not 0 it will also present V in plus 1.5 Vs dash minus 0.5 whole square so it will be half V in plus 1 whole square for K is equal to 1 for the KKK is equal to 1. So my ID is half V in plus 1 whole square. Because this time my input is also not 0. Earlier we have considered the V in is 0. For, for, because earlier we have calculating the value. In the case that says that a V in is equal to 0. To achieve the V out is equal to 0. Now we are we are finding the condition of a V naught. So it's a more general case. So my VGS is V in plus 1.5 here. So basically. So if I will put the value of ID. In my expression, where V naught is equal to three minus ID, RL. So if I may, if I may put the value of ID here, so my V naught will be three minus half of V in plus one whole square RL, which is six k actually. Currents are in milliamp and resistances are in kilo ohm. So if I may, sub, uh, you can solve this expression and find out V naught is equal to minus three V in times V in plus 2. Question number 1. Question number 1. It is minus 3 times V in upon V in plus 2. Okay. So, we know that transistor work in a saturation region. A transistor in a saturation region always satisfies the property that for, for transistor to be work in a saturation region my VDS should be greater than the VGS minus VT or my VDS should be greater than or equal to the VGS minus VT so, minim, so, so for the minimum condition under which the transition will work in a saturation region for that my VGS minus VT must be equal to at least equal to VDS VDS so I will find out the minimum VDS for, the, for which my transistor will work in a saturation region which will be VGS minus VT which will be V in minus one point minus of minus one point five of minus zero point five and it will I can also write it down my VDS as V naught minus V S dash or I will write it here as a VG minus V S Vs negative you can say not Vs just Vs minus which is Vg minus Vs minus minus Vt so Vs minus Vs minus is cancelled so my V naught is Vg minus Vt where Vg is nothing but a V in and Vt is 0.5 threshold voltage though. so my V naught is equal to the V in minus 0.5 this is my another equation so now I have a two equations one has V naught is equal to minus 3 V in minus 3 V in times V in plus 2 other is V naught is equal to other is V naught is equal to V in minus 5 so it is V naught is equal to V in minus 0 0.5 0.5 when again write V naught is equal to V in minus 0 0.5 which is equation number 2 now we have a two equations and two unknown V naught V naught and 
v in two two unknowns and two equations, so we can always solve. So we have two equation as v naught is equal to minus three v in times v in plus two equation one, and we have other equation as v naught is equal to v in minus zero point five. This is our zero point five. Our second equation. So there are two equation, two unknown. If if I may solve this equation, I will get the value of v naught is as minus zero point four three for and minus two point nine volts and corresponding, I will get the v in for zero point four three v naught. I will get the v in as zero point zero seven. And for this minus 2.9 value of V naught, I will get the value of minus 2.4 volt. So, but for to for transistor to work in a saturation region, first it should be on because if transistor is not on, it it will be cut off. So, it, it, so in any case, it can't be working in a saturation region. For transistor should be on, its drain VGS should be greater than VT because it's a minimum requirement for transistor to be on. My VGS should be greater than VT. And my VGS should be greater than VT. So because the value of my VGS, my, my VS dash is minus 1.5, and my VT is 0.5. So my VGS should be greater than 0.5. Then only my transistor will be on. So if my VGS is greater than VT, then my V in plus 1.5, because my VS dash is minus 1.5. So Vg minus Vs dash will be Vg plus 1.5. So my so my V Vg V in plus 1.5 should be greater than 0.5. If it means my V in should be greater than at least minus 1 volt. So my V in should be greater than minus 1 volt. Then only my transistor will be on. So in this case, I am getting two values of V in plus first plus 0.07, others minus 2.4, which is less than minus 1. So this value. This value will be discarded, and we will take this value only. So my correct answer is V in is equal to plus 0.07, and for V in is plus 0.07, my V naught will be minus 0.434. This is the answer of second question. Thank you.